What are you doing? Decided to wear that shirt here today, huh? I'm just, you know, wrapping the homie. Are you? That's your homie still, huh? It's all allegations. We don't know anything yet. I, I saw you this morning on your live stream uh, defending, defending him for child neglect. And I said, yes, you did. And then you said, you literally attacked the police. You were like, yeah, they the throw extra like charges throw all these in there. Extra charges I'm sticking up. to that. That has nothing to do with the Just, fucking situation. Even academics said it. The child neglecting doesn't mean he's doing something. It, that's it, fine. it could be that they walk that, in and there's that. weed around a kid and they go, that's child neglect. That is child neglect. But this is my problem. But this let's is, not act like I've never broken up weed in front of kids. That's fine. All right, here's my thing, right? There's right and there's wrong, correct? Like, and it is not always right or wrong, according to us. Like, things that are against the law are not necessarily, I'm like, that's not wrong. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still inside the arena. Like, you don't, it doesn't matter what you think is is right or wrong. If the powers that be have decided that it's wrong oh, I get and that. they can fuck you, then you gotta be smarter than the fucking average bear. Yes. All right, so. Yeah. Listen, I don't think my man is smart. I uh, think. All right, we, we, we got yeah. one. We got one. He's but obviously he a wild young him. dude. He doesn't, like why he has guns all over his house on a golf exactly. course in this Florida. This is what I'm saying. I don't know. This is Pro I bet being him, being a father sitting in jail, you're looking at that thing, the only thing that's pissing you off is they're like, yo, but they're saying I need being him, being a father, you need to keep six degrees between you. you got enough boys if you need straps and that's why people have shooters so if you're yeah. like if you're on that come up like that you can't do all that shit yeah. that's why i'm saying it's stupid and my man's already on probation yeah, he's gonna go away he's done like dude it's fun. and i don't want anyone in the cage but you no, can't me you can't sit here and say that my man is not like fucking no. flying close to the sun no dude i think i think academics said it best if you watch the three thing three minute thing when he was talking about it. he said man it sucks he said i like the guy he's a good guy he's a talented kid but you know i thought he was on the right road but it's uh, not looking dudes are like people have tried I don't know he's probably got a I mean, bunch of people around him that just tell him awesome well, because they're all getting money there's that there's enablers and yes men but there's also just like the whole addiction thing man like if dude's on fucking drugs doing all this dumb shit like yeah. addictive and people and if he keeps getting rewarded for it and people are like oh I love it's just like people being like free Kodak free like you can't just yell free Kodak like my man yeah. needs help you yeah. know what I'm saying like no, I he, agree with all he that he doesn't need to be free and out here just continuing this on it's like it's kind of sad like it's sad that people sit back and watch these motherfuckers destroy themselves. No different than Little Peep. It's no different than anybody else. The only difference is one's an OD, but Kodak is OD'd on just like stupidity. Life, yeah. Like yeah. like just yeah. not being smart and not having someone around him who's smart enough to like put all this separation in between them. I, I'm on the same page with all that. I just love his music and I think it sucks. I think it sucks because literally, dude, it does. It reminds me of Diddy. It reminds well, me of like yeah, but Diddy's in the kid. same situation. I know. Diddy and that's did a bunch fun. of dumb shit and that's why he's in jail. I, I don't know you're not being anti-police but this like and because you know i don't really fuck with police either yeah. but i'm just saying like there does come a line like where it's like yo reality is reality and we live in reality and if you know that fucking x is illegal and you're still gonna do x I'm not talking about yeah, x you're putting like, yourself well then you have or you have to fucking like you're get to your serious it. chess yeah. game going like you have to be able to maneuver yeah. without getting caught like yeah. you can't be, you can't be lacking and that's stay out of the system that's the advice Stay the fuck out of the system. I agree. He's in a yacht right now because of this too. Like some dude is probably sitting back drinking fucking Coronas. There's millions. He's like, I'm gonna this little plastic piece of shit that goes on top of a fucking box. Like people are like, really? And they're like, yeah, it's useful. And I'm like, not at all. That's the great thing. People just keep buying it. Put it on 100 million units. I'm good to go. $3 a unit. Cashed out, baby girl. Left my wife. <laughs> Got six girlfriends now.
it. So there hasn't really been time to go outside. We've just been doing this. We streamed for like 45 minutes. We did a QA. and a I asked on all social media platforms for questions. Um, this is Twitter. These are people arguing about who I should block. Teddy, why did you decide to remove your Star Wars tattoo? Because I just wanted tougher and cooler shit. Because I got all that stuff when I was really young. I was like 16 when I started getting tattoos. Yeah. And Star Wars wasn't that cool when I started getting Star Wars tattoos. It just got cool. I got Star Wars stuff right before any kind of new episodes came out. And then all the new ones released and it just got like super cool and trendy. And they weren't done like that well either, so. Nice. What is the next likely item, not tees, not hoodies, not jackets, to drop from your brand? Jeans, joggers, hats, other? Mm, <laughs> joggers, hats, and socks. We getting laces soon? I'm just asking this. Laces? Yeah. yeah, probably. Different laces. But yeah. yeah. For the first ever OG boost got dropped, did you ever think your merchant influence altogether would be as big as they are now? No. <laughs> Simply put, no. What do you think about Jordan brand making releases more limited? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a, I mean, is it a, it depends on how you look at it and I don't really know the answer. So it's like, if they're doing it to limit things on purpose to create demand, then it's silly. But if they are limiting it because the last year or two have shown a decline and it's a business move, augmentation, you know, basically. They're more limited because they're not selling. Yeah, they're not Should selling they, as much, right? Then it's whatever. That. Break it again? No. It's, no. Just, it's just evidence of where Jordan Brand is in the current climate. Best Kanye album? Uh, I think, I mean, the best one is, in my opinion, the best one is Twisted Dark Fantasy. But my favorite one, I think, is Jesus, honestly. Hardest part about tattooing? Hardest part about tattooing. Does that mean the most unfun part? All of it is hard. No, I mean, it's, it's all hard. I mean, learning how to tattoo is the hardest part. I think. Where'd you learn to work with Premiere from? Lessons, YouTube, self-taught? Self-taught. I mean, if I get stuck with stuff that I look on YouTube, but it's very similar to music editing, which I also am self-taught at. So yeah, it's just kind of similar, like cutting things apart and pasting them back together. Are you gonna do a tour in 2018? Uh, most likely. I'll probably do something after my lease is up, but hopefully we'll be doing more of a slow tour, so it'll be less locations most likely, but I'll spend longer there. Hopefully I'll be able to tattoo people while I'm also there. Did you ever watch WWE and who was your favorite wrestler? I did not! Me neither. Because it was called the WWF. I, I did, did watch, watch wrestling. It. I watched wrestling when I was a kid because my grandma and grandpa loved wrestling. My grandma had a crush on Ric Flair, but my back was to the TV because I was a kid. Yeah. And so my grandma and my grandpa would watch wrestling behind me and my grandma would just talk about how sexy Ric Flair was. It was amazing. <laughs> I, just, I remember it so vividly. But I did watch it and my favorite wrestler growing up was The Undertaker. First it was the ultimate warrior when I was a little kid and then I was the Undertaker. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? And yes, you can smoke weed there. Um, I don't know. That's hard to say because it like doesn't really... So basically weed's legal worldwide essentially is the question. Where am I moving to? Me, it would be some beachy kind of place where yeah, you can still know. get to the mountains. I probably want to move to Japan for a while just to like hang out because I really like Japanese everything so I'd probably move there for a while, but I don't know where I'd want to stay. What would you say is something you feel you need as a constant in life? I know Boost is something you're interested in, so it happened to help build your following, but what is something you could not do without? Like, what is, I guess, what's your real passion? What I need, I mean, I just need to be creative. I feel like if I'm not, yeah. like, making stuff, go crazy. I don't know how to relax very well, so I always have to have, like, something to work on. Like, always gotta be something to conquer, basically. U.S. tour. What? Different cities. Are we getting another U.S. tour? I just answered that. What did you say? I said yes. I'll probably do something. Uh, I won't go. You don't remember me answering? Uh, you be sponsored by one company that isn't Adidas. What would it be? I couldn't be if I could be sponsored by one company that isn't Adidas. Tesla. Yeah. Tesla. For Call real. Me. What color Ultra Boost have you haven't you seen in a while? And would like to see come back. More purple colorways. Yeah. There's another colorway I was thinking of the other day, and I was like, we don't even have this color. I can't remember what I was trying to match it with. I don't know. It's weird. A lot of the colors now are like 
interchangeable. Like they like bob out because they're mixed colors, you know? Yeah. There's not a lot of solid colors that come out anymore and like regular, just like- just a red shoe. Yeah, or like a solar color yeah. or something, so. What is, did you get your eighth? Oh, from me, from me. No. Nope, never got my eighth. They got shorted. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. You'll be doing some Omar merch eventually. Uh, yes, definitely. Thoughts on motorized skates? Um, I don't have a lot of thoughts on them. I think they're weird. But anytime I see people riding motorized vehicles like that, like personal motorized apparatuses, I just think of Wally. Will the 4D be the new tech that every shoe company jumps to? Um, I think to a point, like, but not like in a replacement kind of way. I don't think like, sure it's in there, do I think 4D will replace Boost? Uh, I don't, I think that they'll have both. I think that 4D is more exciting for the manufacturer than it is for the consumer. You know, I don't think that... Well, once they have that infrastructure, they can, it's just like the speed factory shoe. They can like automize a lot of shit and make it all just happen. We're talking about automation and we're talking about how beneficial that is for a manufacturer to do that. If they can 3D print hill cups, so they can 3D print soles, then that's great for them. But for the consumer, like there's no promises that for there's no promises or technology behind 4D printing that talks about comfort. There's nothing about yeah. energy response in 4D printing. There's nothing there's not even the same part of the conversation. So I don't think it's like replaceable. I just think it's another cool thing. But I do think all shoe companies are racing towards printing and I think most companies in general will start 3D printing. Oh what did you want to be when you were a child? I don't know. I never like, I don't remember ever wanting to be, I didn't want to be a professional skateboarder when I was younger, like when I was in middle school and high school. But I was always like doing art too, so I don't know. I don't really know, but like as a little kid, I don't have any idea. My mom always told me I could be a lawyer because I argue a lot. How will Kodak Black's recent arrest affect Dirty Iron's day-to-day -day life? I don't know, hopefully we just stop hearing about it every five minutes, but <laughs> unfortunately for Kodak, sounds like he's gonna be in jail for a long time. Your favorite boost so far? Oh, I don't have a favorite. That's why I have a room full of shoes. If you could design a shoe, what would it look like? Um, I don't know because I haven't been given that opportunity yet. So we'll have to wait for that day. Will any of your art be available for sale aside from clothing? Uh, yes. I'm gonna sell, this year I'm gonna sell prints of originals that I do. And I'll also be selling originals, but originals like are rare, more rare, you know. It's a different ball game than clothing or stuff like that. So, because I usually like to hold on to originals unless there's a good reason to let go of that. When are you going to do the 500 milligram challenge? I don't know. One day soon. 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 I mean, I don't know. I did the 250 with your 500, so I'm not really Sorry, worried. Man. I'm waiting for this. You think I'm not going to be able to make it? I just, Give I, me your prediction right now. What do you I have? think you'll hack strong. I just don't have as strong as I do. You don't think I'll do as well as you? You really think that? No, I don't. I think you'll do fine. But you never know. I could just hit you in some weird way. You could, you could get me. some crazy yeah, bats. Some, yeah, so sometimes. That's why I just want to see you go through it, because it could happen. Uh, what are we going to see you play as a basketball? Um, probably not that often, because I have one had me to go to the gym lately. Snowboard. Snowboard season is right now, and I can't really film at my gym like that, so. Why did you start smoking weed, and when? Uh, I was 26. I was losing my fucking mind. I was about to go get on antidepressants because I like couldn't deal with my life. And instead, I started smoking weed. And ever since then, it's been fucking nothing but jokes, rainbows, and sunshine. <laughs> it's not true, but, well, the last part's not true, but. It's changed my life. Where do you recommend? I don't know if this is. Where do you recommend getting real OG Boost God merch? It's too fire not to collect absolutely everything you put out. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, people resell some of it, but I don't know. What was your first shoe with Boost? Uh, monochrome white and MD. Yeah, that's what. I, do you still tattoo? Yes. What paint works on foam posits? Who the no. fuck knows? Who Who the cares? fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> They're those fucking space looking shoes. Yeah. Uh, astronaut boot. Yeah. When will you come to Nashville? I don't know. I don't have any real set solid travel plans right now for this year. From my man Ray Tona. Besides apparel, what other venture do you and the Boo Scott brand want to create, make? In I don't know all the stuff I want to make. I just want to make a lot of stuff. I just want to make art and clothing and film type situational things. I don't want to make films. I don't really want to make a movie, I don't guess, but. You like telling stories. I would like a TV show. I think I, I think I need, but I don't also, I'd struggle with that because I don't know if TV even matters, but I want 
TV show money. <laughs> so yeah. that, you don't want someone to give me enough money to create my own yeah. TV show level of content. So I don't have to spend all if, my money. If you and Ern were trapped on a desert island, how many consecutive days could you deal with him until you killed him? How many days am I stuck there? Is it for the uh, forever? If it's forever, I don't know. You might just get rid of me right away. Yeah, they might have to just go down. Like, <laughs> am I hungry? Is there food? You know, like, do I have to eat you? Like, what's happening? I need more details. If we're getting rescued in five days, it's like, whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, no, you're both going to die here. Part of me feels like I just have to kill you. Yeah. But then in like 20 years, I might get lonely. What happens if I kill you and then we like, I'm just like, I can't deal with him. He's driving me crazy. But then I kill you. And then we walk over to the fuck, or you're dead, but I walk over to the next little village and it's just a whole village of people. They got like all kinds of vegetables and fruits. They're like, oh, there's plenty. We're waiting for more people to show up. You got any friends? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a dead body on the beach, you know? <laughs> Do you think they should be more available to their customers and not have such limitations on stock? Or do you agree with some level of limiting of stock to create more hype for their products? Example of Canada, like what the fuck, heard some drops are extremely, extremely limited for those people. Um, those people. I don't think, yeah, what you mean by those Canadian. people? Canada's been coming at me with it, I gotta be careful. I don't think that it's like, I don't think that it's like that. I think that people think shit either. is limited on purpose when it's not limited on purpose. It's just like, you know, like a certain amount gets made and then they just keep it moving. It's like designers have jobs. Like everyone has a job to do and they keep doing that shit to continue to stay above head of shit. So I don't really think it's really about that. I think it's literally like, hey, we're gonna make this pant. Let's make X amount, da 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 da. And then they become staples, you know, that get used as other things. Yeah. But I mean, if they just made 150,000 bait camo adidas jackets and i mean it would just be silly because yeah. there's not enough demand it's the same thing and like yeah canada not getting in a lot of cation of shoes is because of demand people think because all of a sudden like three six eight twelve months ago that people woke up and were like we want this we want this that adidas or any company for that can matter respond can respond quickly case. enough yeah. and they can't and it's the same reason you don't get a size 13 in asia there's not a lot of size 13 people yeah. walking around what shoe that you don't have do you want the most I mean, yeah, probably that black friends and family kid mid, but that's never gonna happen. So. Yeah. Does so it bother you, Ern, stealing the spotlight? Nice. <laughs> just breaking balls, you don't have to answer that. No, I want to see my friends thrive, but. When is that 800 million happening? I've never heard of that. <laughs> that's my friend. Of mine. Kid size? She has a six year old. She's yeah, always asking. I'll try. It's just like, it's, it's hard. It's hard because of the same thing. It's like, if I stock kid sizes, it'd be such a small amount. Because yeah. there's not a huge amount demand. of demand, yeah. you know, it's like, and it's hard to know demand and then spend, you know, yeah. however much money it is to get a full size run of kid sizing for five design. It just turned into a lot of money. What are your thoughts on Chanel ripping off DC shoes and trends hitting the 90s waves again? Um, I don't know about Chanel ripping off DC shoes. I don't, I don't think I've seen that shoe. Oh, I think I did see that shoe. Actually. What, like a skate shoe? Like a Yeah, flat? like all the skate shoe stuff's coming back, whatever. I don't think that it's gonna like, you know, like the whole saying like, everything always like comes back, comes back. But like, is that because people accept that statement? You know, is that because people like continue to like suppress new ideas and then only go with what feels comfortable? So like how much of that are we the prisoner in the guard of? Yeah. That whole ramble is because I don't think, I don't think the whole skate shoe, bulk shoe thing is gonna pop the way people think it's gonna pop. You know, like designers and everybody trying to move it that direction is one thing, but I don't think that it's gonna be as huge as people think it's gonna yeah. be, you know. And I don't think, and I don't think you're like. I think there's gonna be like a hybrid of it, you know. There's like kind of a middle ground. We won't return back to like straight up clunk '90s DC skate shoes, but there's this like sort of middle ground in between what we've learned and where we came from, and yeah. that's like where you end up with present. Uh, creation or whatever so it's weird how many states have you been to do you know that answer I have no idea probably almost all of almost them. I'm at I haven't been to the Dakotas me neither we need uh, to do a Dakota tour I haven't South been to the Dakotas I haven't been to Alaska me neither you've been to Hawaii is Hawaii a state Hawaii is a state yes <laughs> you think boost slides will ever come out probably yeah Dude. But I'm not interested in them. Yeah. I mean, I'll get yeah, them. Those cloud phones are perfect. Yeah, so. cloud phones. Are, I think they'll come out. Yeah. When will you be coming to LA? We get that a lot. Yeah. We should just do a random LA pop. Yeah. LeBron and Kith. 
Um, I think it's cool, like, I mean, it's a cool collaboration. It's super cool for Ronnie, you know, yeah. but like, I'm not, I'm not into any of the stuff. I think the shoe is fairly atrocious. Dog, it's crazy. I look at, cause sometimes I get all this like fucking, you wanna check it? Yeah, before I go on this yeah. <laughs> Hate and shit talk or whatever, even just debate about me not liking Jordans. And then I'll literally go back and look at Jordan models. Like, or someone will post something about all the Jordans that are driving that year. And I'll look at each one and I'm like, they're all enormous fucking yeah. shoes. Like, like, yeah, I don't like into. them. Like yeah. this crazy thing to me. That Same as a LeBron. You'd have a big. You might like well a fucking those combat boots that you wore. Yeah. Really. That's why I started hating Jordans. Like I love Jordan Three and shit for like design aspects, like the black and the cement and like all that. I say cement and people don't understand what I'm saying because it sounds like semen, cement. Because <laughs> um, people say cement. You could say either way. But I'm from fucking the south. The cement and the black and the leather and all that shit, like the three M on the tongue, like all that shit was super cool when I first saw it. And still to this day, I think it's a really good looking shoe. I just don't want to wear it. Like that's yeah. my point. And then after the fucking seven, I didn't like any of the shoes because they started just to get fucking bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you plan to do for the next five years? What do I plan to do for the next five years? Create and survive. Create, survive, and thrive. I like that, create. It's the new live, laugh, love. Yeah, create, survive, and thrive. Thrive, thrive, sur, sur, create, survive, and thrive. There you go. Yeah, it's create, thrive, survive, I like. Create, thrive, survive. However you wanna mix it up, dog. Survive, thrive. What business advice would you offer to upcoming or people that want to be entrepreneurs? Get a really fucking good team. <laughs> Because there's no fucking way you're doing all the shit yourself. And just prepare to like, just work constantly. Like you just have yeah. to be able, there's no real out any time of the day, night, whenever you're yeah. doing anything, whether it's like. Being an entrepreneur or whatever, uh, it's a lot of gambling and it's a lot of like taking risks, but it's just, you know, it's you're, at least you're doing it on your own shit. You know, that's really it. But like, you do need a good team and you just need to like. I end up working way more than 40 yeah. hours a week, but if you're doing stuff that you enjoy, it's it's so cliche. Yeah, and make sure you're in, but and yeah, like success or like heading towards success, you know, like yeah, there's a lot of cliches that come true, and you're like, oh shit, that's really corny, but that makes sense. Yeah. Because not until do things happen do other things have context, you know. Yeah. So it's just you just kind of have to wait and see what happens in your life. You don't really know what's happening. You just have to make sure you're just chasing after this thing. But yeah. that just comes down to setting your intention and letting go and be like, and don't this let is other people intention. get you thinking that you can't do it. How do you deal with the haters? How do I deal with the haters? The same way that I've dealt with in my entire life, which is make fun of them. <laughs> I usually just deal with it comedically and laugh. Um, that's pretty much it. Most, a lot of ignoring, I ignore a lot of it, but if I do engage, it's generally to be funny, outwit someone, or correct information and move on with my life. So, you know, nice. at the end of the day, the only person I have to answer to is myself. So, I don't really care. Do you feel most sneaker YouTubers are fake or try to push an agenda? Um, I don't think that sneaker YouTubers are fake or try to push an agenda. I don't know what agenda they would be pushing, but I think that YouTube as a whole, the environment that it is, creates this place where not just sneaker YouTubers, where a lot of people feel like they have to make a very certain type of content, and act a very certain type of way, or they like won't get views or the subs or whatever. And I think that that shit is silly. I think people should just you know, make the stuff that they want to make, not feel like a lot of weird pressure to be cool or spend $30,000 on something they don't really even want. Or they're gonna sell off camera later. Like you bought this thing just for this video and now you're gonna sell it is kind of strange, but I don't know, whatever. Well, it's strange because you're really just doing it because you need content. I think it's too, it's like if there's nothing going on, that's fine because that's real life. Why make up shit? You know what I mean? Like why make up stuff when you could just, if that's your d goal that day is to make content and you just make content about whatever, you can literally go do anything you want. Yeah. You just gotta go film yeah. it and be like, hey, on Thursday, January 12th, I fucking went to the hot tub dispo yeah. fucking yeah. showcase yeah. and yeah. I tried out yeah. 25 hot tubs. Like, I just think people should do what they want to do and not and like push themselves into a corner. Boost hockey TV, son. <laughs>
Would you ever sell any more shoes on your site? Yeah, I'm probably gonna sell more shoes soon because that room is just crazy. Like it's still crazy and there's not enough room. So like some of my double ups, like some rare shit is probably gonna have to go. And then I'm just gonna have to probably liquidate again, which is gonna be really hard this time because now it's like that, you know, Yeah. there's a lot of shit. And it's like, there's I more shoes coming. I, I just know. bought three shoes this week, you know, like. Do you resent all other brands, is there a Nike shoe you would wear? I don't resent the brand, I don't resent any other brand. I'm yeah. actually a super fan. Look, I just like, at this point with Nike, it became such a huge brand. Like growing up with it, basically growing up with it and watching the best years of, my opinion, the best years of Nike. I just like the best years have come and gone. Yeah. Like, that's all I feel like. And so I'm waiting, I would love, like, I'm not waiting. I'm not like, oh, I wish Nike would drop something. But if Nike dropped something that I legitimately was like, dude, that shit is fire. Them re-releasing some of the same shoes and them reimagining the same shoes doesn't excite me. To me, it's the same thing. So it's literally that. And the other brands I don't care about. Like they never really hit my radar ever anyway. Like I bought a couple of new balances here and there and like Saucony or Saucony, however you want to say it. Most about hype beasts. Um hype beasts. <laughs> yeah, I mean what just like the whole like fucking hyena vulture fucking vibe like as someone that makes things and likes to be creative they wait and they like demand cool things be made and then they fucking just tear them apart and eat them until they're down to the bone and they're like all right what's next it's what's no it's next you know it's like someone said if adidas made the ultra boost why don't they make another ultra boost and i'm like why don't you go fuck yourself? That's ridiculous. That's like, yeah. oh, well, if they made a Sistine Chapel, why don't they make another Sistine yeah. Chapel? Yeah. It's like such this fucking level of entitlement. That yeah, we fucking, created the airplane. Why haven't we created Yeah, why haven't we created the rocket? This idea that fucking everything is here to serve. Yeah. And then if a shoe doesn't serve your interest, like the Dragon Ball Z collab, like if that doesn't serve your personal interest, then the brand's got to be dead or the shoe's got to be trash. And it's like, yeah. what the fuck are you Meanwhile, talking Meanwhile, Adidas is teaming up with shit like Star Wars for Always. It's years. always been like kind of like that, like, side a little bit yeah. like they always have that little nerd type yeah. shit going on so it's like nerd is not derogatory but yeah no sense of identity like no sense of like i would rather talk and i do i fuck with a lot for contrary to popular belief i have plenty of friends that fuck with jordans but they like stand by what they like and they're like i love this shit and it's like cool yeah that's fine that's great but people who go back and forth they're like like last year we're all about boost and this you're like no it's it's nike's year bro it's like dude like stop it it's nobody's year how about that I think that you're. Cla I think some people classify yeah, it themselves. Yeah, depends how you classify. How you yeah, do this. I don't. I think. Yo, Teddy. A while ago, you had announced that you was gonna be doing a collaboration. It was either a private label or somebody else. You're supposed to be doing like some pants, bags, etc. This and that. So I was just wondering if that's still is. That's still coming out. Man, that's really dope. I really wish that would drop. All right, peace. So private label. There's collabs coming with private label for sure but there's also like confusion because when you get stuff done through a private label as well but it's funny because through all that me and private label did start working on some stuff like our hat and other things also now like moving into the future with some of the opportunities this year we've kind of like moved to scrap we've had to like move stuff around basically in trying to grow the brand there's a lot of headache you know kanye west rant mood basically but there's a lot of headaches and a lot of just front loading like money like a lot of expense up front and a lot of craziness again that whole demand thing so yes the answer short answer is yes there's a lot of like private label um cut and sew type stuff that's going to come in the next year but it's just been yeah. for both of you what do you think of kanye west's new child's name chicago west i like it honestly you like game i can yeah. see it like and yeah. shy for short, like yeah, like I think it's cute. So I don't, I think it's fine. I do think Kanye West, if he has to yell all his kids' names, it's gonna sound like he's asking for directions to a church. But North Chicago, Saint, Saint <laughs> West, free Kodak. So Teddy, all right, I got a question. I always see you dabbing out of that tiny ass rig. I just have to ask, like you got all these fucking shoes, you love weed. Why are you smoking? I like this one. Um, 
one, this was made for me by someone, and I like it. And dab rigs don't have to be big. Yeah. And because they're not like bongs. Two, I don't buy glass anymore, really, because I break it. I've been lucky I haven't broke this, but for years I just break it all yeah. the time. And three, I'm kind of waiting on like a super awesome glass blower just to hit me up and be like, dog, let me bless you. And then I can be like, yo, let me bless you. And then. Synergetic yeah, synergetic shit. Possible to tattoo your designs into the boost? No, I don't believe that is possible. <laughs> okay, it is uh, now like 10 o'clock. I just finished uploading most, well not uploading, but editing most of the vlog. This painting is not even close to being finished. I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I just wanted to uh, give you guys the sign off. Uh, I'm gonna be up for a while or at least up early in the morning to finish this. Art show is at Think Tank tomorrow. If you're in Littleton, it starts at seven. So feel free to come by. The address is actually, the address is in my description. And um, so, people asking for the drop. There's a drop this Sunday, the tigers, the dragons, snake, and I can't even remember the other thing. Oh, Rose, so tired. Um, those all drop on Sunday, 10 a.m. in t-shirts. They do come in packs of four. They also come individually. Packs are $100. Packs come with one of the four designs in a print, as well as all four t-shirts. You pick the size. There are short sleeves and long sleeves. Long sleeves are individual only. Hoodies will be coming later in different colors, as well as long tees. There's a couple of long tees, I believe, but not a lot. Um, I think that's it. That's Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain time. We'll see you there. It's been a long day. I'll see you guys soon. I may even head up to the mountains for like a whole week on Monday. I don't know yet. To be continued. Peace! Girls there still. Girls? Yeah, girls got, oh, it's a brawl in the parking lot. Should I get the 100 out? See if we, oh, and they're moving off. Nope, still swinging. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. And now they're kind of all walking off together. They're getting in that car. Someone's getting in that car. Still going. Oh, she's still yelling at him. Fuck you, come out here. You don't want it.